Port Priority 8 just happened this last weekend and it was one of the most stacked tournaments in a while. There are crazy upsets and no shortage of amazing clips. Let's get right into our recap and best moments starting with pool. Forward air, I love it. Okay, like it, don't jump, yep. It's gonna wait it out. Way down oh! here, man. 20% before and they went nowhere and now it's like, okay, you're just gone. Oh, you're, you're dead. actually dead? Gaiman, watch. I love Kanga. He's a sick player, but Ashimo goes on an absolute tear in what looks like to be a very difficult matchup for DK. In theory, that can be death at any percent, and he immediately confirms up air and destroy you. Mr. Mishima. I like his Kazuya is so funny. Like, I feel like he does nothing but uh, but spot dodge and electric until he hits the electric, and everyone's like, man, he's so big brain. Still hanging nice. on. Wait, that could be a big opener. Didn't get a tech chase or anything. Matching jab. And it's safe? Oh, no. Yeah, that's definitely not what he was going for. Oh, my. <laughs> Just dancing around him. Our first big upset of pools here is Xavier playing Wii Fit against Peebna in a close, close game five set. We got this last stock, last hit situation. 222 left in the drop. That's going to be it now. Here, up B, back onto the ledge, but a swift forward are gonna get back, Buck back on stage, and the defense oh. to spin out off the Mecha Koopa. It's Buck closing out game one. And 165, he is still alive and trying to close it out here. There's the up B. You cannot sleep on that. We have another upset here with Base Mage being defeated by Ed Dog playing Bayonetta. Base tries to pull out the Fox counter pick, but it's still not quite enough to be able to pull through against a strong Bayo player. I'm oh, gonna get the reset with the back air. Yeah, Edog starting to run away with this oh a little my. bit. Oh no! But in this matchup, you can see I think that was some SDI up there where Base Mage was able to pop out, but the back air closing it out anyway. And Edog 3 0. Oh, oh. Here we have a few yeah, crazy clips, including this disgusting Mewtwo yeah, custom again. combo from Leonidas, like, uh, which may be a contender for Clip of the Day in a future combo just video. Just one, if you're the one selecting the stage, so. Yeah, still counts. Yeah, uh, I think full DSR technically. Yeah, uh, anyway. Yo, yo, doesn't okay, really matter that okay, much because right okay. now. Holy yo. crap, what a combo! As we go, it's going to be another back air. The drag down! Oh, no way. And the dare! <laughs> oh my! That is extremely dangerous. Nikita point blank. That's kind of scary. <laughs> That's kind of spoo spooky. But oh, of course, no. the spikes are even, even nastier. Still manages to recover. Careful here, because Kronos needs to- Oh my goodness, there's wow. no way! Finally, for our last upset here on stream, we have Ven defeating Sen to make it into top 128 in winter side. We had some more off-stream notable upsets, including PK Chris over Goblin, Skinny the Pooh over Peanut, and Frog over Itata. That concludes our brief recap of pools, but top 128 is where things start getting really crazy. Riddles is down an entire stock. Sky J still carrying on this momentum. Getting oh. another conversion. Already 60%. Yeah. Gets the down air to end the set. Sky J. Umeki gets the turn up back in hand, but not able to get the solid opening. Oh, and this back air could do it. Goes for the side B. It's still not going to connect here. Umeki again getting another great hit, but you need something way harder for Rob. Maybe the back air at ledge roll. It's enough. Umeki takes it. He moves on to the winner's side. After Sky J's career ending dunk versus Riddles and Umeki's clutch versus Zamba, they fought each other in a nail biting set, of which I'll let you guys see for yourselves. Okay, okay, here's the punish on the revenge. There's the parasol. Is it enough on the oh. high call out? Umeki! But you know, it's safe. He might as well throw it out. If he goes the wrong way, it's fine. Oh, Umeki's, Umeki's cooking a little bit. Going was... deep and the forward air. Okay, oh. does not catch the ledge rope, but another hit connects. Directional air dodge. Gonna have a double jump available here. Goes Back for the toad! And the toad is enough! Umeki! At this point, Fox player Kananabe from Japan is in a rough position first tweak, but he demonstrates why you should never give up in this game, no matter how far behind you think you may be. Pretty early, 92% though. You don't got a lot of time to work with. Oh! Oh! What the? In, in, in HD right now, bro. 4K <laughs> on the screen now with the, with the eye drops in. Let's get it. Right. Okay, try to- Oh! Okay! Oh, he's truly seeing in 4K! Man, this is a very dangerous Diddy Kong, if I may say so myself, okay? Nice, okay, that actually picks that up. Okay. Off the, uh, the oh. Z drop. Oh. oh! What is he doing? Kinda not bad! Oh. That was a different arc. Yeah, That's what, yeah. The jack is off, he's, I'm transformed, okay? 
Jack is off. Sleeves rolled up. Eye drops in. This ain't what you want, bro. This ain't what you want. This ain't that, bro. I'll see you in game five. God damn. Okay. It's like that. Like when you, you have the power and then you, you use too much of it, now you're going berserk. Like yeah, that's right. what's. So you wild. Right now they watch out, bro. Oh, no. Oh! What the hell? Going to go for the high option. Another nair. These are unsafe options in here if you're playing Fox. Nair! Down! Oh, it's over! Oh, Whoa! Despite Spargo seeming like he was playing very well versus Anathema, it was not enough as he ends up getting eliminated for 17th on the secondary stream by Ken the Japanese Sonic, followed by Riddles and Losers Bracket, cheesing him in a Game 5 last hit situation. Riddles able to clean it up, but we know that Riddles is just one electric win Godfist away from being able to secure this with Rage. Oh, oh it's my just gosh. getting started. He hit him off stage. Oh, Spargo dead. Be enough? That's it. Spargo just—he just lost. He's out at 17th. Big D from Canada comes so close to beating Sonics, but is just not quite able to close it out. But it was such an amazing attempt, I had to include it. I would recommend you guys go watch this whole set on its own. Oh! Here is a crazy turn of events that also happened. Glutiny was defeated by Beast Mode Paul off stream, I believe. Then Cola sent him to losers, but still managed to beat two very good European players, Andres FN and Siski, before being stopped in his tracks by this Japanese snake player right here. You can see 3 OT. He had to face Umeki after this and lost, but Hurt definitely made a name for himself this tournament. It's good, right? Oh no, you air. And now we have Kananabe making his return and going against MKLeo in an amazing set. We're down air, but no, he went off the stage. He keeps finding those. It doesn't matter how tall the blast zones is because Kane not. Oh, oh no. Oh no. He had the read. Oh no. no. Did that just really? Wait, not like this. You're going to get robbed. Not rocked. like this. Oh, it's over. This is the opportunity for Kane Nabe. He's at the magic huh? percent. The what? Okay. Who down smashes there? Maybe wanted a ledge or like platform drop down air, but I mean, it worked out. Is that it? She calls oh! out the double jump from the down air. Kanenabe knew the up smash. Leo then drops the loser's bracket and is eliminated by Mudeis, who then eliminates Riddles, despite Riddles having eliminated Spargo earlier. Crazy stuff. And with that, our top 8 ends up being Akola vs Sonics and Mia vs Ken on winner's side, and the loser's bracket of Dittos, Mudeis vs Umeki and Kanenabe vs Light. Let's see how top 8 went. Man, okay. I feel like every time Mute pulls a stitch or a bomb, he just throws it immediately. It's like he's not even checking what's in his hands first. Of course, he's got his eyes on the opponent, but said opponent is oh, starting to bring this back. No way! No way! What's going on, bro? Back, Shine out of back, shield! Back up! Whoa! Is this melee, dude? It might actually be Kananabe's playing a different game right now. Nothing! Oh! Oh! The dash attack, but parry up! Lasers for that extra bit of damage, and he's gonna trade with the Firefox with neutral air. Is he too low? Doesn't tech the stage, oh! and now nobody's making it back! And the air ball to the ledge! Holding down the center stage. Oh, we hear the USA chance coming out. Hey, that's BM. Uh huh. That narrow to shield, another dash attack again. Quick frame four option. I'm in your face with it. I love that. Great patience. Wait a minute, but up smash getting it done all light. Unfortunately for Umeki and Light, they were then eliminated by Ken and Akola, respectively. Sonics had sent Akola to losers in a 3 0 fashion and secured his spot in grand finals by beating Mia. 3 0 over Akola. He said, I believe. Look at this. Ooh. Picking his spots and they are paying off. Majorly crazy parry right there. Is it it? Yes, it is Sonic. Mia beats Akola in losers finals, leading to the Sonic's Mia run back. Game number five, Mia though, bearing down on him. Oh what? my God! And Mia wins the exchange. Okay. Oh, trying to get for that grab so close. We are definitely not in timeout. He's Danger. Gone. Yeah. Oh, he's gone. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. No, he got absolutely sent out of there. So. Game four could decide this tournament, or game five. Where are we going right now? 
Tell me, Sonics. Let me know. Across the stage is not going to be enough. Sonic, even with a good, like, it's like probably the first time he's even dropped that back here in this set. Neutral is going to be a net. What? That's going to do it. Damn your seeds. Damn your curses. And with that, Sonics is the champion. Big congratulations to him and everyone else for their amazing tournament runs. If you guys want to see the whole VOD or individual matches themselves, which I strongly recommend for you to watch, I'll link them in the description. If you enjoyed this style of tournament highlights, let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.